Welcome to Vintage Coin App Restorations and our latest projects. Well, I shouldn't say latest because if you've been watching our videos, we've known we've had uh, three of these for some time and um, one of them has already left and we have two here that are ready for pickup. And um, we just thought we'd go over, uh, let's go over the machine to the left over here. Um, Scientific uh, made this machine in 1948. Um, an earlier version baseball game of 1941, Scientific uh, made another one called uh, Batting Practice. Hard to decide which one I like better. Um, both of them are unique. Uh, they play uh, really, really cool. Uh, me in particular, I think I like Scientific Batting Practice a little bit more just because of the Art Deco uh, colors into it. But also me as a furniture builder, uh, this is a beautiful piece of furniture, so it's hard to uh, it's hard to walk away from the, all the wood. But uh, as you've been watching our videos and if you've been following us on Facebook, uh, you know that this machine has been completely redone, and that is all the veneer has been uh, re uh, not re uh, restored. This is all new veneer. Uh, it's not a sheet, but a uh, three sixteenths thick uh, piece that was put on. We'll go around the corners. All these corners are solid. All the metal that you see is uh, nickel. Uh, we have had to make new handles for uh, this machine. Uh, most of them, uh, you collectors out there, if you need a handle made, give me a call. We also have made the uh, scientific uh, decals along with the decals of the play field and the instruction card. And yes, the back field and the far back field and the glass, both of them, top and bottom. So this was a very, very extensive project for us. Uh, I am so glad that uh, I'm finally finished with them. So I could start uh, some of your other projects that uh, you collectors have out there for me to do. And uh, just do a quick, uh, real close in zoom. Very uh, tough paint job for me. Uh, it's hard to make something irregularly irregular. Uh, nothing's perfect on here. And that's how the original was. And I needed to... Uh, duplicate that same quality as you can see on these stencils. The back glass you see here is a new back glass. These are the original colors. And also down here you see your uh, second back glass where it houses, the, uh, shields a light fixture that is below. Just a fluorescent tube. Um, over the years on the original play field, you could see that the glass, it's been hit so many times that the glass has shard a lot of the play field on the part. So what we ended up doing, put a piece of plexiglass uh, over that to protect that um, light fixture. On the left and right of the uh, play field, you'll see these little curtains. They are original. And what they do is they absorb a shock of this ball that comes through that you actually play. The play field is a brand new play field that we did. Uh, we tried to save the originals, but they were so far gone that uh, it was just impossible for me to salvage them. Yes, you do see a little bit of glare right down the center, and that is a thin sheet of mylar. And what's that gonna do is going to protect our play field. Uh, over time, I'm sure it will get dirty, so, uh, it is not glued down, uh, so you can literally just, uh, we have two push nails here at the far back end. You pull those out from below, and this piece will come right out. You can clean it or get another piece from us. Now, another thing that uh, is very common of this game is you would come across this machine and you would be missing all these men. Uh, or let's let's call them, you know, what they're supposed to be. But uh, these are all uh, 
new heads and uh, bodies for the these ball stoppers or catchers. So uh, if you're in the market for those, uh, we do have them. And up on top here we have a, it's below the glass, so you're getting really a funky um, uh, reflection. But it is your um, instructions. You know, it's telling you a pitcher. You could play, it's a single player game, but you would be playing against somebody else hopefully. And that person might be the one pitching the ball to you. So that's why it says, it says change speeds, full to your batter, and medium, fast, and slow. And that's what you have here. These are all new buttons. Uh, the majority of them are always broken. So if you're looking for that, we also have made those too. And here you also have on the right side, just a little more uh, instructions. And it does have on the bottom here some more. Basically saying, a smooth and easy swing of the bat will drive the ball just as, head, just as far as a heavy swing and will give you greater accuracy and a better score. So I tried playing it both ways and you know what? If you just hit it with a nice fluid motion, you can really get it up there. So let's take a look at the scoring, uh, what's going on here. In the center, if you can get it right up in the middle there, you get a home run. Left and right of the home run is a triple, and the far left and right are doubles. Um, also, if it goes down the down your uh, center and you completely miss it, you don't get anything. But um, it's a uh, it's a fun, fast moving game. Uh, the balls were a big problem with us. Um, the original balls in here uh, weighed quite a bit, and they were as hard as a rock. So that is why almost everything you see inside this machine had to be replaced because it was like throwing a marble at this game. And since 1948, you could just imagine what something looks like when you've got a marble being thrown at it, you know, day after day, hour after hour. So um, through the help of many friends, we looked at every ball company. I've probably spent on these three machines, I would say about $400 worth of plastic ball is trying to find a right one that's heavy enough um, to uh, trip the triggers and at the same time light enough that you can play the game without not worrying about destroying it. So we finally came to a, uh, a really neat neoprene, uh, um, I think it's polypropylene uh, ball and uh, they work great and we're really happy because uh, that was our missing link for this game. They sat for a long time because the play of the game was just, it was too harsh. It was just like throwing a rock. Uh, the base on these machines, uh, there's a front and back, identical, uh, usually completely destroyed. And that is why uh, these are brand new reproductions. Let's take a look in the back here. Well, let's uh, we'll go around to the back of the machine. Let me get my chair. And we'll start down here at the bottom. What you have here is you got the actual device that um, pitches the ball. Okay? Now that gets an impulse from the motor below it, and every time it gets that impulse, it pulls uh, the, the long pin and it pops the ball forward. Okay. Also, this is behind here. You'll see that there's a ball drop. That also there's a uh, trigger in there that you. I think it gets you one run if you can get um, the ball to come down here. And right here are your uh, Jones plugs. Uh, one's marked Playfield, and the other the other one uh, is for the cabinet down here at the bottom. Let's take a quick look at the motor down here. And it's your ball lifter in the back. And right there is your ball control. Um, kind of a finicky machine uh, device, very primitive, uh, wire wrapped around a, a non-conductive uh, piece of ceramic. 
and the closer to the right that you get, the faster the ball will go. Uh, further to the left, the uh, medium, but the one in the middle is the wild card. What that one does is kind of shorts uh, the medium one out, making the ball slow. Uh, I can't say I understand it 100%, but um, after taking this thing apart so many times, uh, that's what happens. For whatever reason, that middle one shorts the other one to make the ball be pitched slow. And there you can see one of the triggers. Uh, there's four sets depending on where the ball hits in the the plate in the back play field. Uh, the ball will roll through a little set of troughs that you'll see here. And depending on where it's at, it rolls over and sends up in one impulse each time. Uh, let's turn the light off. There you go. Well, um, what can I tell you about this back here? Well. Uh, if you've been following our videos, following Facebook, you've seen this one, and uh, it was in pretty bad shape when we got it. Um, that's why, you know, I've always said, buyer beware on eBay. You really don't know uh, what you're going to get, and uh, we didn't know what we got uh, until I started to restore this machine. But it had stuff in here, so I kind of figured that, well, you know what, the machine kind of worked uh, at one time, so uh, let's just roll with it. And I did that and I spent hours trying to get this machine to work. And when I kind of figured out what needed to be done, there were steps, uh, parts of the machine that would never work because they weren't even hooked up. Uh, one of the things that we noticed that uh, there was no three balls uh, left and a game over uh, relay. Um, they just eliminated it. So it's not, uh, it's, it's not, uh, too common to see this uh, happen when a machine of this age over the years it gets beat up things you know just get burned out and an operator changes um, they just change out something here so we had to actually manufacture these two stepper units and their boards to uh, work for this game so I guess uh, let's uh, stop talking about it and uh, I'm gonna actually uh, set up my tripod here and uh, for a change, we're actually going to try to play the game and videotape without you know, me holding it. So let me see how this can work here. Okay, here we go. Uh, as you, except for uh, nickel, also except for free play, push in. And now here's the ball's going to shoot out. And you just need to take your time. And here we go. That was a triple. There's a home run. Ah. It's hard to hit this thing. There you go, triple. Now I'm going to hit the ball super fast. Okay? Here we go. It's, it's really tough. There we go, we got double. Now here it is at slow speed. One more time at slow. Got double. Triple. That was, I think, our last ball there. One more. And there you have it. Scientific's 1948. Pitch them and bat them. If you have one of these machines for sale, please give us a call if you need one restored or need parts. Give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630. 624-7466. Thanks for watching.